Hello, and welcome to Day Off Gaming. I am your host, Talion, and we are back with Star Controller 2, the Urquan Masters. Uh, we are going to attempt to land on this planet over here, uh, where there was some biologics. I want to see if we're able to do this without getting totally annihilated from the earthquakes. I think, yeah, the, and we have to worry about weather too. That's going to complicate this. Uh, it would be easier if it was just earthquakes, but let's just see how bad the earthquakes are. Like, honestly. Those things that are, uh, look like octopuses or whatever, they suck. <laughs> We did get some data. I just worry that it's not going to be worth the death. Um, in a way, uh, I really want it, but it, it's just not worth it. Yeah, we're not going to worry about it. We're not going to uh, try and make our way with that. I just don't see it being worth the death that we wouldn't go through. I think it would be better if we had a way to deal with the earthquakes at least, but unfortunately we don't. We eventually will, but right now we just can't. If it wasn't also having to deal with, I think, the lightning, it would probably have been easier to it's okay. We can make this work. Hello. We're gonna go check out this dust planet first. See if there's anything down here that we want. Unfortunately, no. Okay. Um. Yeah. We'll just navigate and try to escape. And no. Well, goodbye, Spotty. Hope you remain well, because I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, I right? guess the only yep. event of importance. Goodbye, Hunam. I hope you aren't eaten by monsters. Yeah, I appreciate it. You can tell everybody to go back to work or whatever they do. I hope you aren't eaten by monsters. Wish they were easier sometimes to avoid. Um, this is, I think, an acid planet. Yeah. And there was definitely nothing worth landing on this planet for. Gotcha. I think we did that first planet in the second planet. We want to do this third one. Uh, and I stop spinning out control. Okay. There's three planets, or three moons. Okay. Ooh! That is a purple. No, it's probably only like seven minerals at that. They're always worth picking up, in my opinion. Man. Nice. That's like 250 RU right there. Oh, not much here though. We'll navigate again. 
Maybe a ruby? No, radioactive world. Okay. Ooh, this has a lot of good radioactives. We'll definitely pick those up. Alright. Yeah, man. Oh yeah, this is going to be a really good time for minerals. We're going to have almost like four different trips. I just hope we have enough space. Come here. Thankful we learned how to deal with the probes a little bit better with using this bot that you ship. Uh, because we were losing way too many men to those things. So I'm glad that that's been figured out. Okay, so we can go back to Epsilon and hopefully talk to the council and see if they're ready to join us yet. Oh, there's Zeta still. So let's go to Zeta. Trust me, there's a lot of sidetracking <laughs> that happens. But we are trying to build up our resources because uh, they these are decent ships and I really like being able to have them in my fleet. My gosh, so many. Okay, fine. Come here. Just no, no, what? Goodbye, Hunam. I hope you aren't eaten by monsters. Oh, uh, Spotty, what am I gonna do with you? Quasi degenerate world. Okay. Oh, with beautiful minerals. Yeah, we like that. We are finding some really good... Oh, come on! Really? I landed basically right on the earthquake. <sighs> that was depressing. Oh well. At least we didn't lose our ship. Or lose our lander. That would have been embarrassing. And there's biologics. Lovely. We're gonna actually save this then. And we are in episode seven. Oops, we already know about what's on here. Lander, you are going to be busy because all we have to worry about is the occasional earthquake. Oh, and it's these guys. Oh, these guys are ugly. These guys are really nasty. This is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, trust me. This is going to be a challenge. See how they just chase you? Oh yeah, this is going to be interesting. Whoa. I'm trying to get the minerals almost first just because uh, I don't want to accidentally shoot the... Where are the minerals on this one? Okay, where do we need the land? Let's try over here. Let's come on over here. <laughs> Those things look like mice, uh, you know? Okay, the only one I'm worried about losing at this point is right here. The others are just regular minerals, so I'm not too panicked about them. Uh, but I definitely want that, so, okay. Ah! I did not want to go up. I hit the wrong button. Okay, let's land where there is nothing, and hopefully we can take start taking these things out one at a time. Whoa! Oh, there are only one-shot hits. That's great. That simplifies this a lot. Whoop! Nice. 
I thought they were a lot dangerous. A lot more dangerous than they're not. Some of these guys take a lot to hit. But look at how much data you get. This is going to be a very good planet for us to uh, get everything we need. Now I'm going to actually pick these up. Since, uh... Since I know you guys are up, thank you, and I hit the wrong button again. At least I didn't take off this time. Stunner, or at least a rate of fire, which will help a lot with these guys that require a lot of hits. Okay, we're going to go up and then come back for these last three. And we are almost full on uh, minerals. This is going to be a really good payoff when we get back. I'm glad it doesn't destroy those packs uh, of data. That would be depressing. You're getting a little bit too close. a really good planet oh my gosh 159 so that's two technologies right there we can buy that's beautiful that really is okay so we can now navigate out of here and where we're going we are going to go talk to our allies our soon to be allies <laughs> and see if we can get them to uphold their bargain now That was a really good planet. I was really impressed with all the biologics and how much data we were able to get. Yeah, yeah, I know you're gonna probably attack us, but let's see if we can get to the moon first. There we go. Oh, joy! Oh, happiness! We rejoice and make merry in celebration of our imminent return to our home world. You are most heroic and helpful. Thank you, thank you, thank you! But now I must return to our festivities. Please feel free to come back any time. Um... Yeah, I think you're trying to relig on this. Hey, a deal's a deal. What about our alliance? Why don't you just wait a while, until after we are resettled on our home world? We can discuss details at that time. And how long do you think it'll take? 10, 15 years past. Yeah... Well, yeah, I am I correct in understanding that you refuse to live up to your end of the bargain? No, no, no. We are simply taking a more adult, welcome to the real world view of the situation. We cannot simply say, hurrah, and form an alliance with you this very moment. Surely you see that. Well, you know those creatures aren't dead. We have them in suspended animation. How would you like us to return them to the surface? No! Uh, no, please. Hmm. Exactly what kind of relationship were you thinking of? <laughs> a mutual beneficial alliance of minds and might. An algoritarian fellowship of sentient life forms. The kind where you do exactly as we say. <laughs> huh? Well, that didn't work. How about an Algarian fellowship? What? Alright. Uh, okay. We are quite familiar with that arrangement. 
Very well. I'll bet we will regret this decision later on, but you leave me with no choice. We will comply with your needs. A spotty delegation will depart immediately for the planet Earth. Thank you. <laughs> oh, these guys are hilarious. All right, let's navigate. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's navigate. I want to go to this, um, star. Uh, and we're going to run into it. No, we aren't. Thank you. I was going to be like, ah, uh, crud, God. We have to do more conversations. All right, so let's go on back. That was actually a very good adventure. I feel like we got a lot done. We may be able to get maybe a little bit more minerals here. I don't know. It depends on how hot the planets are. 450, you know. Not bad at all. <laughs> 450 Celsius. I think we can survive that. this planet a magma world oh yeah uh level eight uh earthquakes uh yeah that's not gonna oh and it has biologics everywhere oh i hate you but between the fire and the earthquakes we would just die oh well Another magma world. And this one's even hotter than the last one. Come on, where's the uh oh no man, pretty sure you're here somewhere. Oh look at that, that's really pretty, but look at that heat. 1090 Celsius. That's... That's pretty hot. <laughs> oh, they're there. Found them. Come here. I had itchy pods this morning, Captain. And here you are. Now, what can we do for you today? Well, I want to sell some things. What would you like to sell, Captain? The 159 units of biological data we downloaded from your ship earn you 318 credits. That is two technologies. Great items would you like to I buy I think the today? next one was the point defense system? The technology we are now offering includes details on how to add point defense yeah. laser systems to your flagship. Yeah, let's get that. These little babies are great for defense, but because of their limited range, they may not make a good offensive weapon. However, the more you build for your vessel, the more damage each laser strike will do. The technology we are now offering includes plans for building improvements to your planet landers, which make them resistant to hostile alien life forms. That'll be helpful. Our reinforcement procedures on your landers are complete. Now, provided your crew will stop putting their hands out the windows, they will be much better protected against hostile life forms. The technology we are now offering includes blueprints, which show how to increase your lander's cargo space to double its present volume. That's pretty nice because instead of 50, it's 100. 
Uh, unfortunately, we can't afford it. So what else would you like to buy? At this time, you should be leaving. It has been a pleasure dealing with you, Captain. We look forward to your next visit. All right. We got a couple more technologies. I'm pretty happy with that. Now we need to head on home. We will want to hit the Zakbok pit uh, probably on our next round trip. Um, I'm trying to decide where we want to go after this. Let's see if the captain has anything for us uh, first. But I want to get some more Spothy ships. That's one of my main things I want right now. Just in case we run into any probes. That is probably a spotty. Hello, Captain Ally Hunam. We are here in this place at this time just like you. How wonderful. Uh, let's see. We need your wisdom. How do you guys, what do you guys do for fun out here in this space? Uh, allies, grant us the boon of your wisdom. And hey folks, listen. Very little, I'm afraid. We've just been watching the stars. You know, actually, there was something that happened the last month on the 17th. We saw a new star appear between the Sarasini and Chandrasekhar star clusters. We watched it and watched it for three days. We just watched it. Then it went away, vanished just like that. I hope it comes back. On the 17th. Okay. We'll have to check that out. Okay. Grand us a boon if you just don't. Such as we are here out in deep space, we learn little of interest. I suggest you consult the more interesting folk at Stafiwa. Okay. Goodbye. Same to you. Okay. So, I want to. I know we're going to be going up. Okay. So, they said something happened. Where is this? I think it's over here. There's Cine and the Chanjar. So somewhere up here, they're saying a new star appears. Or at least it did. So we'll check that out uh, next, as it gets close to the 17th. So there might be something to go check out. We got time. But we'll proceed uh, if it comes back. Because if it does, then hey, we might go check it out when we know that it will be there. Look how long it took us to get all the way back. That was a long trip. I hope the battle fares well, Captain. I know you're busy, but I've got some news. Captain, a delegation of Spathy has just arrived here under orders from their High Council to form an alliance and assist you against the hierarchy. They have provided fabricator blueprint data for their eluder spacecraft and promise a steady supply of captains for as many ships as we build. Excellent work, Captain. Nice. Look at that haul. Wow, you really hit the mother load this time. That was a good batch. Um, we don't need to repeat what he said. We shall await your return, Captain. Now, what we're going to do here... Shipyard. I want to build some ships. They're worth 1,800, so I want... A couple of these. Let's go ahead and just get all the people that we need. I really like these type of ships. It's one of my favorites. I feel like it has a good mixture between fighting capability and maneuverability. Something that 
a lot of the other ships I feel like miss. Okay, let's go back. Let's get a couple more of these. I want about four of these, I think. Maybe we'll get a little bit more. Well, we can only get one more. Okay. That's not bad. That's four of these now. That's really nice. Okay. Uh, we're going to depart. We're going to save real quick before we go. And then navigate. Uh, let us... Let's see. Where do we want to head? Uh, Zeman, which I think is a, another big star. Beta Myra, Gamma Myra. This is where I think the Androsynth exist, uh, which are, of course, bad guys. We don't want to deal with them if we can't avoid it. I'm just trying to decide where we want to and. Probably go see the Zogfog pig, honestly. Um, so they're Alpha Tukene. That is how far? 45. Okay. Yeah, let's go say hi to them. We need to go form that alliance with them. It was between these two clusters and it stays there I think he said for three days so that might be something to go check out uh, what I think we might be able to do is when we finish with the Zogpok pig we could probably head straight over here and check it out there. No, it's gone. Okay. So, it's there the 17th, 18th, and 19th. So, it's only there for a very short period of time. Are we in spots in space now? That's, uh... Oops. Hold on. I think that might be a boat. Yep, it's a probe. I just want it for the RU. Right now, we really need RUs to build up our uh, fleet. This probe is not hostile. Do not attack. <laughs> hmm, maybe reverse psychology would work. <laughs> I'm having a lot of trouble dealing with this. What's your problem? Whether you attack us, you're not hostile. This All systems report nominal function. Priority override. Uh, okay. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials.
getting better at taking these things out. I need to wait until they're closer. And don't bounce in the asteroids. There we go. As I said, we're getting much better with them. Cilantro Battle Group. We'll go back to where we're heading. Their home planet is like right on the edge of their sphere of influence. This is probably the main, uh, the most boring part is the space travel. Just because, especially when you go on these long tracks, because that is a very long way to travel. That could be a pro behind this, because it's keeping up pretty well with us. Um, let's see, where are we? Yeah, that's a pro. Let's go ahead and stop and let it uh, come in a little bit. Of it. There's something slow coming towards this though. That kind of has me curious. We come in peace. I'm having a lot of problems dealing with this. What's your problem? That's just going to tell us the same thing. Uh, why do you attack us? We're not hostile to your life form. Behavior follows dictated priorities. Replication. Data gathering. Contacting alien life forms in peaceful manner. Priority override. Yeah. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component Sounds materials. Like, uh, the priorities are incorrect. <laughs> Because it keeps wanting to replicate, which is a problem, obviously. Got him to hit it. Much better at handling those. We do have another black circle coming, so I want to see what that is by saving real quick. Let's save. And then let's see what that is. That's really slow. Uh, yeah, we're not ready to take these guys on. Um... I'll be honest, right now, I had a feeling that's who they were, but I wasn't sure. Uh, so let's just go ahead and load. Uh, I'm not ready to do it. <laughs> um, those are the main bad guys, if you're wondering. I had to fill in the probably inside there. Spirit of Influence by now, but I forgot how big it was. Uh, so yeah, let's uh, do our best to avoid all of them. We're going to go around. Up. Uh, uh Tikane, where is Tikane? You're around here somewhere. Oh, there you are. Oh, there is a nasty ship here. Oh, boy. And there's a nasty ship there. Oh, boy. This might be a bad idea. Just to be honest. Uh, let's go ahead and do a save. 
uh, we're gonna actually do this episode uh, this episode 7.5 there is a reason these ships are very dangerous uh, and that has me nervous that there's two of them here and there's three around their planet oh my gosh that's oh we can probably run from them, but this is going to be nasty. We're going to have to be very careful. Okay, here's their planet, the Zakfak Pick. Ah, it is the alien from the Congestus Alliance. Just look at those weapon pods on his ship. We hope that during this visit, we can make clear to your species the benefits of a mutual assistance act. But we're also armed to the teeth, so don't try stealing our atmosphere or anything sneaky like that. <laughs> so, what's happening around here? We had a close call last week. One of those black ships was snooping around the system. But before it got to our world, some of the green ships warped in, destroyed the black vessel, and then left immediately. We got lucky! Well, hate to tell you, but you have like six or seven of these black ships in your solar system right now. Uh, any news about the war between the two alien ships? No, we have nothing new to report. Nope, not a thing. Okay. Uh, I have traveled here to seek an alliance. How wonderful! We accept! Hooray! How marvelous! Yeehaw! Captain, we are delighted that your people have made this choice. Now we won't get slaughtered. In exchange for our cooperation helping you with captains and ship designs, all that we ask for is your protection. So we don't get slaughtered. We shall begin fulfilling our commitment at once. We will transport officers and our stinger design to your base immediately. Why, heck! Maybe I'll even make the trip to your planet. I'd make a good starship, Captain. Captain, I'm pretty darn mean in a fight, and there ain't nobody better than me with a thrusting stinger tongue attack. Well, I would like some specific information. Sure. What do you want to know? Just ask away. Does that guy in the back ever say anything? Nope. Not a word. <laughs> he just looks at him. He lets them. He's sort of like that silent partner. I let them deal with all the issues. Uh, let's see. What do you know about other alien races? Not much, to tell the truth. This space exploration stuff is uh, kind of new to us. Besides the green alien ships, which have only tried to kill us, and the black alien ships, which have actually been quite successful at killing us. The only other starships we have encountered are strange tumbling red probes, which profess to be on a peaceful mission. But then attack like slavering the Brankies. We believe that the probes are actually robotic scouts, which have suffered some kind of malfunction resulting in their aberrant behavior. And what's worse, they are multiplying. Yes, that's true. <laughs> yeah. The probes seem to be replicating at a geometric rate. Hey! That means if there was only one last week, then next month... Uh, wait a minute. Let me calculate. Uh, uh, that means next month there'll be a whole bunch of those things. By backtracing the probe's course path, we have been able to calculate that the source of the probes is somewhere on a direct line that includes our star and Epsilon Muscae. Go get them, Captain! Epsilon... Muscae, or something like that? Alrighty. Well, tell me more about your people. Ah, cultural exchange. A good idea. Yeah, let's tell them about Frungy. Be quiet, you fool. He asked a serious question. He doesn't want to know about Grungy. How do you know? What makes you so smart? You never even asked him if he wants to know about Grungy. Why, I'll bet right now he's wondering, what is this wonderful sport, Grungy? How is it played? What kind of equipment do you need to play Grungy? And I wonder who's ahead in the Grungy Championships. Ah, 
Will you shut up about it, Rungy? If you say another word about that stupid game, I'm going to lose control and blow a cloud of spores at you. Yeah. Okay, okay. Don't blow your stack. I won't mention Frungy again. I promise. Well, Captain, as you can probably see, our culture's predominant trait, its greatest strength and weakness, is the diverse interactions between Zop, Pop, and Pip. Frungy, Frungy, Frungy! <laughs> oh, I love these guys. Can you describe your Stinger's starship? The Stinger is the peak of our technological prowess. It's totally awesome! These vessels are cheap to build and can be quite effective in short-range combat. They turn on a, on a, well, a small round thing that's real small. Remember, though, against most ships, the Stinger must close distance immediately and give unrelenting tongue attacks until either the enemy or the Stinger are destroyed. Yeah, the tonguing is the best part. What they're talking about is it basically the special attack is it, think of it as a battering ram uh, spike that it shoots out um, from the ship. It's it's just wrong. <laughs> think okay, think of it as a switchblade where the blade goes out and in. That you'll get the idea of what they mean by the tiny. I don't use their ships very often just because I'm not a big fan of their ships. I've never gotten very good at using them. But what's your history like? Our past? Quite a broad topic for this short conversation. But we'll share a key piece of our history with you. After we killed off the last of Branky, we faced an interesting question. Should we proceed and establish a culture which could advance in art, technology, and social sophistication? Or should we just go back into the forest and kick back and enjoy ourselves, knowing that as a bronchi wasn't going to jump out of the bush and eat us? Well, we did go back into the forest. We stayed there for about 5,000 years and had a great time. Then, one stormy day, a zock, a fox, and a pip were walking up a steep path looking for something good to eat when a bolt of lightning struck nearby. With a huge flash of light, the bolt of energy carved a strangely shaped chunk of granite out of a cliff. It was a disc with a hole in the middle. As the rock began to roll down the hill, Toward the three terrified beings, some dry grass got caught in its hole. And since the rock was still hot, the grass caught on fire. When the rock finally got to the dock, the fuck, and the pet, they simultaneously discovered the wheel, fire, and religion, thus catapulting them on the road of progress. Which has led us to this day, Captain. Oh, how did the flaming wheel give religion to our culture, you ask? I will explain. You see, when it got to the threesome, the flaming wheel was going at a pretty good clip, and it ran smack into the rock, killing him. The fog and the pit felt so bad. They really liked that sock. That they decided the sock hadn't really died when the wheel flattened him. He had just gone to a better place. Presumably one without lethal flaming wheels. <laughs> All right, well, that's enough now, folks. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Goodbye, Captain. See ya. All right, now we need to get out of here because we have a freaking uh, load of black ships coming towards us. There's the other one. There's another one. And let's just get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, we don't want to deal with these guys. We don't have to. Uh, they're nasty. Okay, now that we have a, a course set to get away, I don't think we're going to be able to make it all the way over here. Now, they said something about Epsilon something. Muscane or... Okay, there's that. There. Okay. So, somewhere between here... A direct path. So it could be maybe this star. If we keep following the Vega and the Beta. So it could be even one of these three stars 
could be where we need to go. Um, I don't think we want to go there yet, though. Um, I do want to go over here. I want to explore over here. I don't think we're going to make the 17th, uh, just because it's six days away, and that's a very long way to go. We are going to save since uh, we actually survived. So we're going to put it back on the 7th. Come in peace. Yeah, you misinterpret our intentions. Please do not attack. Replication status. Eight replications. Next replication 85% complete. Estimated replication since departure from point of origin. 583 replications. Estimated replications projected one year from this date. 14,784 oh. replications. Estimated replications projected five years from this date. 45,786,412 replications. Priority override. New behavior dictated. Must break target into component materials. Well, we're getting a little bit more information each time. Okay, equip. You get a be up. You haven't attacked yet, so. Let's uh, get away from the... We almost got the uh, last hit. I don't think we're gonna make it. Yeah, we're definitely not gonna make it. Because it's gonna be gone here in about two days. Yeah, it's gone. I don't know if it uh, stops. Nope, it still lets it go. This is the Umga area. Double check. Yeah. Yep, we're in the Umgoss area. These actually are not hard to destroy. Um, they do have a nasty attack if you're not careful. Um, they can zip behind you and then they just attack you at very close range. Uh, with this basically a static charge. <laughs> Let's converse. Whoa, oh my belly. It's, it's a human earthling. <laughs> yeah, well, I haven't seen a human earthling since, oh, since what? What? I've never seen a human earthling. <laughs> what coincidence. These guys are silly. Here's our credo, freedom from Urkon, what do you say? Uh, 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 freedom is very good thing. It's 
so much easier to make good jokes without boring old Urquhart slave laws. We want him to pull real good one on those stupid nosers from Brocopus for a long time. But since they battle thralls too, we not allowed to even small pranks on them. Like saying, dropping planetoid in their ocean. <laughs> big waves, big waves. <laughs> nice. Well, it's been fascinating. I must go. <laughs> Uh, hey, wait, you an earth here, best part. <laughs> Basically, it means they're going to attack. Yeah. Um, let's try with our ship. See, what they're trying to do is get behind us. Let's see. Okay, so it does. See, they do. They're not super powerful, but you, they get close to you, though. They can really get you. Nice. Destroyed it before it got behind us. That's what they like to do is they like sitting behind you like that to uh, hit you with their weapon. <laughs> yeah, destroy yourself please. That's great. We're going to take off though. We're not going to worry about it. We're going to just escape. And if we look at our star map now, we know where the Umga are. We could, as I said, we could have probably have stayed and could have uh, fought them, but I really uh, just wanted to verify where their space was. Um, but as you can tell, they're not super difficult to kill, uh, but they can be dangerous though, and that's why I didn't take my other ships into combat. It just wasn't worth it. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we're actually a little bit over on time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this planet done really quickly. And there's life here! Yay! Okay, so let us save the game. And what we will do is in the next episode we will actually start exploring this area and our goal is to find what that unknown star is and just find out what that mystery is why is it only there for like three days and then gone so i will see you all in the next episode until then